Huawei's Near Link is about to change everything you thought you knew about wireless connections. Huawei has been making waves in the tech industry with its innovative products and technologies, but today we're going to talk about something that could potentially revolutionize the way we think about wireless connectivity. Imagine a world where your devices connect seamlessly without any of the frustration and hassle that we've grown accustomed to. That's exactly what Huawei's Nearlink technology promises to deliver. For years we've been hearing rumors about a wireless technology that could replace Bluetooth, and it looks like Nearlink might just be the real deal. I mean, who wouldn't want a faster, more reliable, and more efficient way to connect their devices? It sounds too good to be true, but we're excited to dive in and explore what Nearlink has to offer. In the world of wireless connectivity, we've been stuck with Bluetooth for what feels like an eternity. Don't get me wrong, Bluetooth has its uses, but it's had its fair share of problems. From slow connection speeds to range issues and battery drain, it's a miracle we've put up with it for so long. But hey, it's been the best we've had, right? Well, not anymore. Have you ever tried to connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker, only to have it take forever to pair? Or worse, it pairs, but the connection keeps dropping? Yeah, we've all been there, and don't even get me started on trying to connect multiple devices to a single speaker. It's like trying to solve a puzzle blindfolded. But what if I told you there's a technology out there that could make all those problems disappear? We've all experienced the frustration of trying to pair our devices, only to have them not connect. Or they connect, but the signal is weak, and the music keeps cutting out. It's infuriating. And then there's the issue of range. How many times have you walked out of the room only to have your music stop playing because you're out of range? It's like, come on, Bluetooth, get it together. We've all been there struggling to connect our devices, only to be met with a frustrating fail to connect message. Or even worse, having our connection drop midstream, leaving us in a state of digital limbo. Bluetooth, despite its widespread adoption, has some major flaws that have left users feeling frustrated and helpless. One of the most common issues is slow connection speeds. You know the feeling you're trying to stream your favorite show, but the buffer wheel just won't stop spinning. It's infuriating and it's a problem that's plagued Bluetooth since its inception. And then there's the issue of range. You're trying to connect your headphones to your phone, but you take a few steps away and suddenly the connection drops. It's like Bluetooth is playing a cruel game of tag with our devices, taunting us with its limited range. Battery drain is another major issue. We've all experienced it, our devices suddenly dying on us, thanks to the power-sucking vampire that is Bluetooth. It's a constant battle to keep our devices charged, and Bluetooth is often the culprit behind those pesky low battery warnings. But it's not just these three issues, there are a host of other problems that plague Bluetooth, from interference to latency. It's a wonder we've put up with it for so long. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. So, what's the solution? How can we break free from the shackles of Bluetooth and enter a new era of wireless connectivity? The answer lies in Nearlink. Nearlink is a revolutionary new technology that's set to change the wireless connectivity landscape. But what makes it so special? For starters, Nearlink operates on a different frequency band than Bluetooth, one that's less prone to interference and offers faster connection speeds. But that's not all, Nearlink also boasts a longer range than Bluetooth, making it perfect for devices that need to stay connected over longer distances. And unlike Bluetooth, Nearlink is designed to be incredibly power efficient, reducing battery drain and keeping your devices running for longer. One of the most impressive features of Nearlink is its ability to maintain a stable connection, even in areas with high levels of interference. This means that, whether you're in a crowded coffee shop or a busy office, your devices will stay connected without dropping signal or struggling to maintain a stable link. But Nearlink isn't just about speed and range, it's also designed to be incredibly easy to use. Imagine being able to connect your devices with a single tap without having to navigate through complicated menus or worry about pairing codes. That's the world Nearlink is promising, and it's a tantalizing prospect. And let's not forget about security. Nearlink boasts advanced encryption and secure authentication, making it a much safer choice than Bluetooth. This is especially important for businesses and organizations that rely on wireless connectivity to transfer sensitive data. So what does Nearlink look like in action? How does it stack up against Bluetooth in real-world tests? And let's not forget about battery drain. I mean, who wants to drain their phone's battery just so they can listen to music on a Bluetooth speaker? It's like, what's the point of having a portable speaker if it's just going to drain your phone's battery? 
But what if I told you there's a technology that uses significantly less power than Bluetooth? Yeah, that sounds like a game changer. But you know, it's not all bad. Bluetooth has its uses. I mean, it's convenient and it's widely supported. But let's be real, convenience only goes so far when the technology itself is limited. I mean, have you ever tried to stream high quality audio over Bluetooth? It's like trying to push a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't work. And then there's the issue of latency. Have you ever noticed how, when you're streaming music over Bluetooth, there's always a delay? It's like the music is playing, but it's a fraction of a second behind the actual audio. It's annoying, right? Well, what if I told you there's a technology that could reduce latency to almost zero? We've been using Bluetooth for so long that we've forgotten what it's like to have a seamless wireless connection. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you connected to a Wi-Fi network and had to worry about it dropping or being slow? Yeah, it's been a while, right? Well, Nearlink promises to bring that same level of convenience and reliability to device-to-device -to -device connections. So, what is Nearlink exactly? Well, it's a wireless technology developed by Huawei that promises to revolutionize the way we connect our devices. From what we've seen so far, it's significantly faster than Bluetooth, with faster connection speeds and lower latency. And the best part, it uses significantly less power than Bluetooth, so you don't have to worry about your device's battery draining. From what we know, Nearlink uses a proprietary protocol to establish a connection between devices. It's like a private network, just for your devices, and it's much faster and more reliable than Bluetooth. And the best part? It's not just limited to device-to-device -to -device connections. Nearlink can also be used to connect devices to the internet, making it a true replacement for Bluetooth. One of the key features that sets Nearlink apart from Bluetooth is its ability to connect multiple devices simultaneously. I mean, imagine being able to connect your phone, tablet, and laptop to a single speaker and have them all stream music simultaneously. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a reality with Nearlink. Another advantage of Nearlink is its range. Unlike Bluetooth, which has a limited range of around 30 feet, Nearlink can connect devices up to 100 meters apart. That's right, folks, you can have a device in one room and another device in another room. Nearlink is impressive. We connected a phone to a speaker and the connection was instant. I mean, we're talking about a connection speed of around 20 milliseconds. That's faster than the blink of an eye. And the best part, the signal was strong and the audio was crystal clear. But what really blew us away was the reliability. We had multiple devices connected to the speaker and we didn't experience a single dropout. I mean, we're talking about a seamless connection that just worked. And the best part, the battery life of the devices was barely affected. So what does this mean for the future of wireless technology? Well, it's simple. Nearlink has the potential to replace Bluetooth altogether. I mean, why would you settle for a slow, unreliable connection when you can have a fast, seamless one? It's a no-brainer, right? Nearlink addresses all the problems we've been having with Bluetooth for years. It's faster, more reliable and more efficient. And the best part, it's not just limited to device-to-device -to -device connections, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we connect our devices to the internet. So, what do you guys think about Nearlink? Are you excited about the potential of this technology? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about emerging technologies, be sure to check out our other video on the future of 5G. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.